Hey, and welcome to uh, Just Calvin. Um, this is brought to you by uh, and the two party system.org, where they have some killer products up here. Take a look and see what they have here. Uh, shirts, which is $69.99, $24.99 for uh, beach towel, uh, con face mask for $12.99, uh, uh, hoodies for $39.99. You name it, they have it basically, as you can see. So check them out. Again, that's in the Tea Party System.org. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about today, and for once, it's not about COVID. I hear that uh, Joe Biden um, has a middle class uh, uh, tax uh, fairness thing. My, the only thing I can see that, now this is just, this is, uh, I guess you could fantasy policy from my, from my perspective. For those uh, uh, companies that have received all kinds of tax benefits for the past 40 years, I, if, if I were in charge, if I were the president, if I was the one person that could actually make this stuff happen, uh, or at least have a really good chance of making it happen through legislative process, I would demand that they show justification for getting so many years, so much in tax and tax write-offs. Because I don't know if you know this, but if you go on, if you go and look up, uh, ask like Google or whatever the heck uh, question, um, do taxes, um, uh, our, our tax breaks the same as uh, as government expenditures. Eventually, if you don't if you don't get the research, if you don't get the search from that right, um, I've actually I've actually done it in that way, and sometimes I forget the way to do it as far as like the uh, the keywords that take to get to my point. Eventually, you'll get to uh, a website. Um, I think it's the government expenditures. And it'll state um, that any money not going into the government or uh, any money going out of government is considered as a government expenditure. That means that money. What now? I'm at, now. I have been studying and and not practicing, but studying the currency issuer. Um, I am a MMT -er, if you will. Um, I believe in that. In that, it's not a theory anymore; it's a practice, at least from my perspective. Looking at some of the policies that have been implemented, or at the very least, attempted to be implemented, um, I do think that the money that has been spent in the into the into an existence uh, uh, minus. The tax, uh, the tax, uh, my minus taxes numbers being taxed. Uh, those that is what is the, the national debt. You know, in other words, the tax breaks that the big corporations have gotten um, obviously have contributed to what is known as the national debt for the past forty years. Um, and what Clinton did, in my in my in my view, uh, tax the crap out of middle class and other people, in order to um, not pay for, but bring in what the what bring in the money that the big bigger corporations were not contributing through uh, different tax loopholes. Now again, um, if they want those tax loopholes. Uh, kept, in my opinion, and this is where I think that they should come in and go, okay, well, we do this, and we do that, and we do this, we do that. This is where the mo that money goes. And explain why they let go so many people uh, any given year, and then their CEO, their top, their top executives get all kinds of raises where their employees don't, don't get anything in regards to raises for, for the better part of a few years um, and justifying the raising of um, prices on certain uh, certain things uh, to the general public who they then have to pay more and so on and so forth. So my point to this whole, this whole rent I'm doing 
the point is one check out uh and the two party system.org uh, check their uh their merchandise out here um and secondly i would say that joe biden would need to uh through executive order if, if you can make the middle class tax breaks permanent the only taxes the middle class should pay is into social security even though even though social security uh the payments going in there is up to congress uh the congress themselves should rewrite the legislation that made up Social Security and saying that it say that it will never be uh, insolvent. Uh, if they do that, that means that it's automatically paid for uh, the way through spending. So that's the one way you can actually pay for that part is and it's already is already spent into the economy. Um, that's what spending bills do. They spend money into the economy through the treasury. And well, Treasury and the Fed, of course, you know, the, the two main uh, parties there. But I would make the taxes for the consumers permanent. No, put language in there that where there's no way it can be repealed, nothing. And that way, not only will you get more money into people's pockets, but you'll have Social Security funded fully. Um, and also to make sure that the big corporations uh, justify getting those tax uh, incentives. So otherwise, you have companies that don't absolutely do not need tax incentives to stay alive. And if they needed those to stay alive, they shouldn't be they shouldn't be around in the first place because that means that they are a drain on the economy overall. Anyway, uh, let's see. Is there anything you want to say on that one? Uh, now, I wasn't going to go with COVID because I talked about it many times in the first place. But let's see. And I'm going to stay away from that too, actually. See about it. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say as far as the part goes. Um, check out, as you see on there, uh, check out... Uh, uh, in the Tea Party system, check out for We Are Many. Um, check out pretty much anything that's not mainstream. Um, in regards to COVID-19, and I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but I say just a little bit. Don't listen to talking heads. Do your own research. Whether the research is um, left or right, whatever, who cares? The point being is the fact that you're making your own judgment. You're making your own decision. And for those like Jack Lemon, who... I was saying he's a shut the fuck up because he, I mean, CNN literally just paid for advertisement by Pfizer, by, by, by Moderna, and other places like that. So I wouldn't uh, pay attention to them. What I would do is I would look up the ingredients to, to all the above, uh, look up uh, CDC and... Uh, keep an eye on uh, the underlying conditions because those are the main factors that doctors keep telling us that uh, people are likelier to get COVID. Um, so a lot of these, uh, I, I, I hate when these headlines <laughs> sit there and say that this person died of COVID when in reality probably had an underlying condition. A lot, of these, a lot of people in hospitals are passing away, but not necessarily of COVID, but for other reasons, but they probably test positive for COVID at one point in time, but died of something else. So it had nothing to do with COVID in some cases. Anyway, call me what you will as far as the conspiracy theorists. I've been studying my tail up on COVID on the alternatives to, you know, and just pretty much everybody that has tried to debunk some things involved in COVID and they get, you know, they, they hit a couple of points and they miss a lot more. It's kind of like, uh, uh, it's kind of like my thoughts with people who criticize MMT. They criticize a few things, but they also miss key spots. 
And those cheat spots are the things that actually make an empty and in, and in the case in the case of the COVID, the vaccines and whatnot uh, are the key reasons reason why the, those things may not work for you. Um, like with COVID, for instance, if you have a strong immune system, if you already had it, you don't need the vaccine. If you have a if you have a strong immune system in the first place, like for instance, in my case. I get sick maybe twice a year. That means I ha- that means that I that I don't get I, I I don't get sick as much as some people I would say. So that's one of the reasons why I feel comfortable in not getting it. Anyway, uh, kind of went on a little tangent there. Excuse me. Anyway, but thanks for listening. Uh, short one today. I will be going on maybe a little long one tomorrow. Uh, be on a different platform. This will be, I'm going to try to put this on my uh, uh, bus sprout uh, and anchor and other places like that. So, I mean, if you find this on any of my platforms, please, please subscribe and support and share as well. Comment if you can. But otherwise, uh, peace out for now. Thanks for listening. Go to end up two party system and purchase some products. And thanks for listening and peace out for now.